Yeah, welcome back. Brushology, the importance of the comb. This is the answer. I don't know, it's just so catchy. You know what I'm saying? But we still here, we ran out of time on the last segment, so I'll just continue on. You see, I'm still combed out. Now we about to just comb it back down. I like to start back here. I used to be afraid to do my hair like that, like comb it against the grain. You know what I mean? I thought I would mess up my waves or something, but I was seeing it starting to actually make them a little bit better. So when you woof and you definitely want to be combing. It also helps to lay your hair down a lot better. You know what I'm saying? And train your hair. It helps to train your hair to lay down. And that's all I'm going in with, you know what I'm saying? For a minute right now, just the comb. I might just have to go and put this one on repeat. This will be my go in music, you know what I'm saying? Because all I'm using right now is just the S7. And of course, I'm using my oil, so I got my 7 juice and the berries on deck. I call it my 7 diet, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but if you haven't been combing, you better pick you up one. You know what I'm saying? Go get your comb. Doesn't matter the brand, the type, you know what I mean? As long as it moves your hair. You know what I'm saying? This is a wave enforcer one. I just seen them in Walmart one day and just picked them up because I really wanted to get in the comb and the comb I had was a little too small. So with this one I get a little bit of a handle to control it a little bit more. So if I was to recommend a comb, maybe one with a little bit of length on it. You don't want one of them little small boys. Go and get you somebody. Yeah, so there you have it. So that's just the comb, the comb and lay method. And I'm not using a plastic bag to lay it down. And generally, you know, you can use a soft brush as well. And then wavy long way with some of this method, you know, you use your comb, then your soft brush, you know what I'm saying, for your connections. So that feels good. You know what I'm saying? It's helping to lay it down a little bit more. Matter of fact, I'm going in. This is the S7, S7, this is the S7, S7. I'm gonna rewind that track, why?
This is the SM. So, a fellow waiver told me about this method yesterday, and figured I'd give it a go. Don't judge me. It's the monostat method. The monostat method. No, I don't have a yeast infection. No, but I do have a thin crown right here, so I want to put it right there and see if it promotes any growth. So, I'm experimenting. You know what I'm saying? The mad scientists. The mad scientists that work. So this will be the first video that you'll see me applying it, but actually I kind of went in with it yesterday too, but I was seeing a little bit of difference. Hey guys, I'm checking in. Alright, I'm recording. Keep it moving. Like dead skin right there or something. Mm. Said one of the side effects of this was people with some headaches or something. I hope I don't get no headaches. So to cut it, you know what I'm saying? We gotta cut it. So it's not it's all this mindset on your head, you know, just sitting there caking in. So I'm gonna cut it with some seven juices and berries. This is this one I don't want to mess up the cone work we just did you know what I'm talking about we just had a nice little cone session so I don't want to mess up that progress so we're going to go in with the soft boy <laughs> <laughs> 